Hey everyone, it's time for your Thursday Daily Trucker News Update. I'm Carlin Stafford. And I'm Brittany Joyner. We have a lot of news to cover today, including the rate of positive driver drug tests compared to last year, the postponement of the North American Commercial Vehicle Show, and exciting news about the Great Lakes Big Rig Challenge. So, let's get trucking. First, we start with the rate of truck driver positive drug tests. They're on pace with last year's. The Drug and Alcohol Clearinghouse says the first three months of this year remains on pace with last year's, and the number of drivers who have yet to enroll in the return to duty program remains persistently low. As of April 1st, there were just over 14,000 positive drug tests recorded this year, compared to the almost 56,000 failures during all of 2020. The majority of the positive tests were from marijuana, followed by cocaine. Marijuana positive drug tests represent nearly 58% of all positive drug tests and officials report that some truck drivers just don't know that they're not permitted to use marijuana at all, despite the fact that it could be legal in their state for medical or recreational use. Drivers who fail their drug test must enroll in the return to work program and pass a drug test before they are permitted to get back behind the wheel. We've all been trying to answer it. Besides more drivers, what can we do to feed the trucking demand? Some are wondering if rapidly increasing warehousing costs and shrinking, shrinking warehouse capacity will push shippers to keep their freight moving. Inventory costs have been growing at the fastest rate recently, while warehouse capacity continues to shrink at a near record pace, according to the Logistics Manager Index. Right now, inventory costs are increasing as fast as they have since the index was created in 2016, with a record value higher than 84 in April and warehouse capacity measure below 50 since the summer of 2020, dropping in each of the first four months of this year, meaning shippers have a lot less space to store their stuff. And you know, that's just one of the many issues that we're kind of seeing and why rates are so high and everything right. is trying to constantly move because they have to. They don't they have, have anywhere to. to put it. And we're running out of warehouse space a lot faster than most people, I think, realize. Oh, yeah, for sure. Everything, all the changes from last year to this year, I mean, it's hard to keep up with, but we got to figure it out. We, we do. And then out soon. think about the ports, you know, they, the West Coast ports yeah. were all packed and now the East Coast ports are right. becoming packed. It's going to, there's going to come a time when it's going to break. Right. <laughs> we just don't know when. <laughs> exactly. Well, organizers of the North American Commercial Vehicle Show postponed the event for 2021. The show was scheduled for September 28th through 30th at the Georgia World Congress Center in Atlanta. The decision came after manufacturers and fleets explained that they're worried still about traveling and large gatherings due to COVID-19. There's also a growing number of events for fall 2021, and they're all competing with each other, which ultimately led uh, to the decision being made. NACV organizers share the information about the future pr plans in July. Continental will celebrate its 150th year in business this coming October 8th. The Germany-based automotive parts manufacturing company employs more than 235,000 people in 58 countries and markets. The company was founded in 1871 and began as a tire and rubber manufacturer. Continental Tire North America Incorporated came about after the company acquired the tire manufacturer General Tire in 1987. Now the company has more than 15,000 employees right here in the U.S. And again, it's great to see some of these long, you know, lived yeah. companies celebrating more milestones. It is. That is awesome. And they've actually been around the country or the world for a long time, but in the U.S. only since, you know, yeah. late 80s. So yeah, and they're one of the best, best uh, tires that yes, we have for our considered some of the best. So yeah. it, it is very great to see them continuing on. It is. It is. Well, here's some fun news for you. The Truck Boss team is going to be at Onway Speedway in Michigan for the Great Lakes Big Rig Challenge over the upcoming weekend. We are going to bring you all the behind the scenes of all the races and all of the live action. The Great Lakes Big Rig Challenge is a Quebec-style uphill side-by-side semi-truck drag racing competition and can only be found in one location in the United States, which is Onway Speedway. Competitors will be hooked up to trailers and loaded down with 123,000 pounds of lumber and race uphill. It's going to be wild. And that's not all. Our good friend Tony Justice and along with other musical artists will be there to perform some of the greatest hits. So if you're in the area, you definitely want to check that out and you can purchase tickets and find a Event details at their website listed below. And as always, we like to end on a good note. Check out this bad boy that hit the lake this weekend. It's a custom-made semi-truck boat. 
it caught all the attention of all the guys on the lake, you know, as it sped by and honked its horn. It really looks like it was hauling on that water. That is, we saw one of those here in Oklahoma at the Busted Knuckle. It wasn't on water. It no. was just on a trailer. Yeah. But that is awesome. It was so cool. It literally looked like it was hauling on know, the water right? and honking. <laughs> beep, beep, beep. I would have been like, this is the coolest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> you, you know, what, what do they call those duck boats and now it's a, yes. a duck truck? Yes, a duck truck. <laughs> Speeding by. Speeding by. <laughs> Who there knew? you go. <laughs> well, that does it for today's update. Tune in tomorrow for your Friday feature.